I am the nature hacker and this is your world. So I want to talk about um, MMOs and what makes them addicting and what makes them good. And to be honest with you, I haven't seen a good MMO since EverQuest 1. And their RuneScape might have been good and things like that. I just didn't play it. But um, I want to go into, as an EverQuest 1 player in 1999, okay, the golden age of MMOs. And you might be like, well, how come, aren't MMOs better now? I mean, they have to be better now. They have better graphics, they have better gameplay, they have better stories or whatever, better quests. How could the golden age have been in 99? Well, you could ask the same question about cars. Cars are faster now, cars are safer now, cars are uh, better acceleration, but but the golden age of cars was like right around 1970, um, you know, 1969, 70 ish. So, you know, what happened? Well, you know what? You know, the the purity of of what it began as has ended. You know, like in the s late 60s, early 70s, it was the muscle car era where cars were made out of real steel and, you know, everything was manual and you know hands-on and like workable you know it was designed so that um you could go in there you could fix it yourself you could upgrade it yourself and stuff and now everything is so proprietary so patented so um sophisticated that it just l loses its its primal amazingness you know it loses the golden age it falls from the golden age into the age of tin junkiness so the same thing happened with games you know they they started getting greedy you know everquest one they charged man how much was i paying um i have to say it had to be around ten dollars a month okay it had to be around ten dollars a month there was nothing else you could buy there wasn't a store where you could buy items and buy upgrades and things like that. There was none of that. It was everybody pays a flat $10 a month and if you subscribe for longer, like let's say you got a year in advance, then you would be paying a little bit less per month. But that was it, you know. So that that was the key. That was critical, you know. It wasn't free to play, you know, so there was like the advertisements around. There was no advertisements. It was just a pure, solid game and you just had a flat fee to pay, you know. There was no advertisements to make them extra money. There was no add-ons to buy. There's nothing else. And that is that is the key. If you have that, you have most of what you need right there. Okay. So that's that's the absolute key right there. Now, um before I go into more about MMOs in my experience and what um, what made MMOs so good and like psychologically what made them good. First, I want to say you know my life. I basically have four. Um, I have four goals in my life. One is to really lock down natural health, and I, I'm really far in that path. And I think I'm um, very you know close to where I want to be. I'm, I'm going to keep improving, but um, but really at this point, what I'm going for is um, improving my energy levels, you know, so improving my sleep is a big part of that, improving energy levels, so adaptogens are a big part of where I'm focusing right now, but anyway, natural health is my most important foundation, and one of the things that my goals in life, so my second goal in life is natural energy, you know, you can call it alternative energy by, like, the term, natural energy, better, um, you know, including and basically, the way I do that is by working on electric car. So everything that goes into an electric car, be it um, uh, batteries, motors, um, controllers, um, you know, mechanics, and everything. Somebody work on that. And so right now, I'm focusing on batteries. I mean, batteries are the number one bottleneck on electric cars right now, and just natural energy in general. So uh, I'm working on batteries right now. And then from there, the next thing I'd probably work on is like motors and or controllers. So I think DC motors can be improved a lot. So I'm going to be working on DC motors, improving them. Um, 
the third thing that I want to do is um, MMO. You know, make my own game. Not necessarily just an MMO, but maybe like a single player RPG. And then later on an MMO. So make my own games. Um, that is a goal of my life. And another, and the final thing at this point is music. You know, trance music. I love trance music. I feel like it's like classical music of the new millennium. So, um, yeah, being like a trance composer. I mean, not necessarily a DJ, like mixing tracks and, you know, and like picking tracks for people to listen to and stuff, but more of actually creating the music and like going as deep as I can, creating it from scratch as much as possible. So that is another thing. I have made one trance song. It was very basic and kind of crummy, but at least I got my feet wet. So trance music, uh, video games, um, natural energy, and natural health. So those are the things of my life. So um, getting back to MMO, um, you know, I was pretty young in uh, 99. And, um, you know, a big part of what was so amazing about EverQuest was, yes, it was challenging. You know, like, I, you know, you start out... And next to town, and uh, there's bats, and there's rats, and snakes, and, you know, to get good XP, you'd have to kill bats, but, I mean, you would, especially me, as, like, a, I was a spellcaster, but I didn't have any spells at that point, like, I would die trying to kill bats more times than I actually beat them, so it was just very challenging to be able to, you know, level up, and, um, you know, just uh, continue on through the game. So it was just, it was very challenging, and that that was it's satisfying. You know, once you actually do well and you continue on, um, the challenge makes it satisfying. Not like an impossible challenge, like, but something that you can work through, but it's very difficult. Okay, so um, and then moving on from there. Um, you know, the community, you know, like being able to have other people that are, you know, at around your level, you know, so that you can kind of team up if you want and things. That's also really important, you know, just like, you know, looking for a group, which is kind of exciting and then seeing other people your level and yeah, like you could form a group and things. And so that was um, very critical for an MMO. And also just um, just the world in general was just, you know, big kind of, um, you know, 